This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and today we're going to look at ice cream sandwich on the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet. Now, the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet came out last fall. It's not new news, but the reason we're going to look at this today is so you can see what pen is like. And this is an active digitizer, remember, an Intrigue active digitizer with an active pen right here for precise input and handwriting and all that kind of stuff under ice cream sandwich because Google added a lot of support for the pen and we're going to see just how much is there. And this is going to be useful for you folks who have Motorola Zyboards, for example, if you're still waiting for your ice cream sandwich upgrade and for any future tablets that come out as well. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with the ThinkPad tablet, number one, you can read our review and watch our video review, but this guy came out in the fall of last year, NVIDIA Tegra 2 CPU 1 GHz, that was kind of the standard issue back then. 10.1 inch IPS display, it's a touch screen and it has an active Ntrig digitizer with pressure sensitivity to be used with this digitizer pen right here which has a single button generally used for erasing stuff. The cute little red thing right here is for your ThinkPad look, the little red button. The tablet has HDMI, a full size USB host port, and other goodies and if you take a look at the back you can see that nice ThinkPad look, rubbery touch there, little red ThinkPad eye lights up when the device is running and this is the silo where you can stick the pen. So that's a nice thing. A lot of these uh, tablets, in fact all the other tablets, well they may come with a pen, the Jetstream, the HTC Flyer, and the Zyboards, but you don't get a place to put the pen, which is really annoying. Now when we reviewed the ThinkPad Android tablet last year, uh, we had two complaints. One was the device was kind of laggy. It seemed like maybe there was too much bloatware on it. Well with the ice cream sandwich upgrade, much quicker. Just zippy, works pretty well. For a Tegra 2 tablet, response times are now very good on it. And the other thing was that the pen didn't work many places. Now HDC went all out and they wrote their own software and drivers and you could use the pen most anywhere. That wasn't true of this. You could use it in the built-in note-taking application, you could use it in Adobe PDF reader, and that was about it. And because Ice Cream Sandwich Android OS 4.0 added support for the pen in a big way, we just see a whole lot of stuff you can do with the pen now, including just simple things like swiping back and forth. That now works. And if we tap over here to access all of our stuff in true Lenovo fashion, you have many options that come up for controlling everything. But you can see there's even a pen only option now. And it will warn you and say, be sure that you don't lose your pen because you won't be able to use your finger anymore until you turn pen only functionality off. But that can be handy for those of you who, who worry about palm rejection issues. You're writing on the screen and it's vectoring. It's picking up your palm on the screen and taking that as a touch input. Now some of the applications are pretty good about handling palm rejection themselves, but not all of them. So that's a nice option to see. And again, everything here just works with the pen just beautifully. We can turn our Bluetooth on. We turn our Bluetooth off. We can go to all settings. Minimize our settings. It's all working now. We can launch applications. For example, here's Alias Sketchbook Pro, the must-have for those of you who do drawing on your tablet. Simple in interface. For those of you who use this, you know, we can tap over here and get to our controls, all your pen tips and all that kind of thing. And this always worked just fine. Because Alias Sketchbook does their own stuff. And this has an option, if you get the Pro version only, the one that actually costs money, to enable pressure sensitivity. The bad news is right now with the latest update, firmware update for Ice Cream Sandwich and the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet, they accidentally whacked pressure sensitivity in Sketchbook Pro. But Lenovo and Entrig and Sketchbook Pro people are working together, so it'll be updated hopefully in the next week or two that's going to bring back pressure sensitivity here. Unlike HTC, there's still no pen writing in Evernote, but Evernote has this companion application Skitch, so you can write to your heart's content and attach those things. Works just fine, and since I'm left-handed, I have a, a bigger issue with palm rejection than most people because I always have my hand on the skin. You can see it's handling it fairly well. Now, if we take a look at Quill, another popular program, you can see that I've been writing on here all sorts of colors and controls, and once again, working beautifully. And if I want to erase something, I just press on the little button on the side while I want to erase. And there goes my stuff. So working very well again. It's nice that you get the word by word erase in Quill. Now we're in an application called WritePad, also very popular. You can see that I've been writing here. You can also do typing. And we're going to go for a thick pen this time.
very nice, very fluid, and no skipping, like you would see with a capacitive pen on many tablets. Much more precise, no fat tip, just a regular digital stylus kind of pen tip. And now we'll check out Notes Mobile, which comes with a tablet, so of course that works. One neat thing about this is just about the only tablet application for Android you're going to find that actually does handwriting recognition. I wrote that, it recognized it. And now we're going to convert that. And there it is. It really works just about as well as Windows handwriting recognition with Windows tablets, uh, which is very good. It's impressive stuff. And this supports pressure sensitivity. Pressing hard, getting lighter. So there it is. You can see it. And if you just want to do straight recognition, you can just tap and select that instead of the drawing option mode. And There it is. Useful stuff, right, if you're a note taker? And now we're in Adobe PDF Reader, and you can see I've been scribbling on my Lenovo manual right here. So you can actually annotate PDFs. Save that when I'm done. Pretty handy stuff. And you can digitally sign the document which is really handy for business folks. So that's Adobe Reader. Now we'll look at an application called Write for those of you who are note takers. And you can see again I've been writing over here. This one does not make your handwriting look as pretty as some of them. You can see your tool selections here. You've got a bunch of different colors to choose from. Make custom pens stroke eraser and a ruler eraser selection tools the insert space is pretty cool you can just move stuff around like that or move one word around like that so say you need to insert something nice feature and now we'll look at the free version of Infinite Painter. Uh, it has an interesting interface, I'll say that. So you can see we've been doing various types of painting and a light stroke versus a heavy stroke. We can change our color, increase our opacity. And you've got all these different kind of lines to choose from here. We'll just go for something like chalk pencil. And you can see the pressure sensitivity. I can vary the thickness and the weight of the line just by drawing on it. So that's infinite painter free. Again, interesting interface, but it gets the job done. And now we're going to check out Adobe Photoshop Touch. That's Adobe's $10 fancier Photoshop. We're going to muck around with the photograph over here and you can see I've got various tools selected here. And their tools are really designed more for photo editing than drawing, but for those of you who want to do that, say I want to try to intelligently fill in this area with a grainy pencil effect. Works fine and there is A little bit of pressure sensitivity there as well. So that's Adobe Photoshop Touch with the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet and its companion digital pen. So if you graphic artists, you business people who need to take notes or sign PDFs, and certainly students who need to take notes, even with some handwriting recognition, that's what you can look for, an ice cream sandwich, if the tablet has an active digitizer and pen. And again, that would be the HTC Flyer, sadly no longer made, the HTC Jetstream, the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet, obviously still being made, you can still buy one of these guys today. The Motorola Zoom 2, as it's known overseas, or Zyboard here in the U.S., when it gets its ice cream sandwich upgrade. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, if and when that ever comes out, the same holds true. That has a Wacom digitizer. That's still an active digitizer, though, so that counts. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.